Hey guys, it's Taz from Latte Library, and today I will be unboxing my latest order, which is a lot of candles from Spark and Sparrow's May release. I am so excited, like, <laughs> I forgot that I ordered these because I did also order a bunch of candles from June's release. But here we are, and I just thought I'd show you guys um, what I got, mainly because if you like when people do unboxings of um, their purchases, you kind of get a, like a real look at the products and, you know, more of an idea of what they smell like, if they're candles, and just what they look like in general. So that's what I'm going to do today. May release was like huge, like so huge that even I got to do a reveal, which was awesome. I got to reveal the um, Manon and Dorian um, Wo TP. It was really cool. Honestly, so cool. I'm so grateful for that. Anyway, let's get straight into it because there are quite a few. So if you don't know, Spark and Sparrow have actually released um, a couple of pins, which is awesome. I've started releasing pins and this is one of them that was revealed and it is freaking beautiful. Like. In the photos, they look stunning, but in real life, it's just it's just so beautiful, and the glitter is outstanding. I I absolutely love it. Seriously, though, look at that. It's honestly so beautiful. I, I really I really love that. I really do, and it just such high quality. Next, we have the two jars. I think I only bought two jars, and and they are of course the WTP that I um, that I revealed. I got the tins, but they smell so good. Like so good and I'm like freak I actually need jars of this because I need to burn them they smell amazing so Manon hello witchling smells of ebony and peach it's just so good oh so good I, I, I don't even know how to explain it the scent but you can smell the peach but it's it's got like an extra something something that just makes it so freaking amazing and I love the glitter I love like I love glitter on candles I'll always say it every time I do a, um, a candle unboxing yeah I'll always say it because I love it so much let me show you though this is the label glitter look at that glitter yes it is so good love seeing glitter burn I really do <coughs> It's just so beautiful. And then next we have Dorian. <gasps> what are my book boyfriends? I have lots. <laughs> and <laughs> so Dorian Hello Friendsling smells of white pepper and lime. At first I'm like, yeah, okay, this could smell interesting. It smells amazing. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it does. Like, it's a, it's like a, it's like a sweet masculine scent. Does that make sense? I don't know, but it is. It is incredible. I think it's one of my new favorite scents for sure. Oh, it's just it's just so good. But here is the label. I love that blue too. And the glitter. Can't forget the glitter. Look at all that glitter, guys. Glitter everywhere. Seriously, glitter is amazing. And I love the um the round bottoms on these jars. I think she used to have like square, but I'm loving these round, honestly. I just think they're so they look so elegant. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, next we have Squad 312 or 312, I'm not sure. I haven't actually read the books to be honest, but once I saw it, I knew I had to have it and it smells of blackberry, strawberry and jasmine. Wow. 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 Yeah, that's, it reminds me of a scent in America for some reason. Oh, that smells so good. But yeah, you guys have to see this. So I think this label is like pretty spot on. Like. I love it. But look at the inside. Look at how beautiful that is. It has like pink, orange, and silver glitter and with purple wax. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Honestly, it smells amazing. Next we have, so in this um, in this release, there are quite a few uh, Crescent City um, candles because Crescent City come out, which is pretty cool. So I've got a couple of those. The first is Syrinx, the Chimera, and it smells of sweet pea and vanilla. Oh, that's really, that's actually really interesting. It's like a, it reminds me of like clean sheets. It's like clean sheets out of the dryer with a really nice smell. <laughs> it's, it's like a soft sweetness. It's, yeah, no, but I really like it. It's subtle, but not. I don't know how that makes sense, but that's what it is. But here's the label. I love how the orange and white just go together so well. And then you have the wax. The white wax and the orange glitter so much it just stands out so well next we have um, the drop which smells of dragon fruit blackberries and 
Is it chipotle? Spice. Oh, that's like a... Oh, that's different. That's really different. Not bad different at all, but I'm like, it is, it's like fruity and with a hint of something else. I'm just not sure. That's insane. I'm going to burn this like straight after this because I think it's going to burn really nicely. The drop. The glitter. Look at that. So friggin' pretty. Next we have, uh, I'm going to say Lily because that's how her name was said um, in the audiobook. But I, I, my tongue gets twisted when I try to say her actual name. But she's the fire sprite in Crescent City. And it smells of lemon fizz. Oh, it does. It really does. It just reminds me of like, um, yeah, like whiz fizz for sure. Oh, this is going to be so good at work. Everyone will be like, who's got whiz fizz? Why does my whiz fizz? My candles. So good. That's the label. And that's the glitter. I mean, and the wax melt and the actual candle, but you know, I like to focus on the glitter. Next we have, so that's it for the Crescent City ones I got. Um, the Harry Potter candle of the month was a Goblet of Fire, so I got that one because it is my favorite. To be honest, I haven't read the books, I've just watched the movies. And it was my favorite movie, so I had to get it. And it smells of berries, orange, and musk. Wow, that, that this, this scent reminds me of my past, like nostalgia or whatever. It, it's, it's really nice though. I would totally burn it in a bigger space though because it does smell quite sweet. But it's actually a really nice combination. Goblet of Fire. Love those colours. Bam. I love orange and blue together so much. It just goes. The next one we have in the release was actually... And I, I love this. It's, it's self-love. And it's pink. And it smells of black tea and green apple. Yeah, okay, so... I can definitely smell the lychee. It's a very sweet fruity scent. I would definitely burn this in a bigger space, like at my at my work, because I'm allowed to I'm allowed to burn candles at work and I'm so lucky for it. But this will go so well in a bigger space. Because I only live in a really small apartment and it'll just like it'll just burn better at work. But I love that um there is a self-love candle. I love it. I think that um especially in times like right now. We need to love others, but we really need to love ourselves and forgive ourselves and just accept ourselves and others and just share the love, really. I love how subtle these colours are in the candle. So there's that. I also got um, Middle Earth, which smells of pumpkin spice, apple and caramel. Oh, that smells so good. Holy crap. Yeah, okay, so 80, 80 in particular will love this. The caramel is totally there with the spice and everything. Damn, 80 loves those ones in particular. I mean, I do too, but I like to give him some too. And I love the green, I really do. And the glitter. There's like purple in there as well, which is awesome. I feel like green and purple are a good, um, a random but a good combination too. And last but not least, I got Second Breakfast. I have seen this on, I feel like Laura Bookish talks about it a lot and talks it up a lot. And I'm like, I've never had it. I've never got it. So I got it. And it smells of fresh bread, butter and vanilla. Holy crap. Okay. Now I know why it's talked up because it smells amazing. It's totally a food scent, like totally. Like, it makes me hungry. I want to eat bread or something. Oh, that's so good. So good. <laughs> so freaking good, guys. That's the label, and then the goodness. All the goodness, guys. So that's my 10 candles I got from Spark and Sparrow. I hope you got more of an insight onto what the candles are like, or just enjoyed this unboxing in general. And, um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. See ya! Ah! And thanks for watching!